Okay, this is it. The first ever episode of Fresh Off The Set. We did it. We're here. We did it. We're here. This is so exciting. I feel like this day is a culmination of like a lot of talking and it's here. We're doing it. And if you're wondering who are these people, what's going on here? Well, we are the hosts of KUTV's Fresh, Fresh Living. Living. Yes, in the house. <laughs> and if you've ever thought, if you've watched the show and you've thought, you know what? I wish I just had more time with them. Well, I have fantastic news because now you're stuck with us even longer. You're going to get lots of us. Yes. But we're <laughs> lots gonna, of time with us. We're going to have so much fun here. So we're going to be talking about trending topics, good news. Absolutely. Interviewing guests. And we're just going to be having a good time all here together because we love our guests. We love all the people that we get to talk to on Fresh Living. But... It's short, right? We only it get is. to talk to them for about three and a half minutes. The structure and the format is so different, you know, with the shows. I love the fact that we really can delve into things and, you know, just talk about whatever and really go into it more in depth. You know, that's what's so great about this podcast. So I'm so excited. Really, yes, truly. this is going to be the place that we'll be able to speak with guests that have so much more of a story to tell. Yes. And we're going to be able to have enough time to tell the story. Yes. So this is it. We are so excited to be doing this. Every single week we'll be coming to you in your ears and on your television. But we thought for this first episode, we would just obviously say hello. So hi, here we yes, are. Yes, hello. Welcome. And, and we want to introduce ourselves. Yes, we've got of, five hosts. We got to introduce. We do. Absolutely. Yeah, there's five of us on the Fresh Living Show. We're all going to be taking turns on the podcast. So each week we're going to delve into different topics. But, you know, for this first introduction, we wanted to kind of give you guys a little background and some facts about us, fun facts. Because we're all, one thing I love is that we're all so different. We all have Absolutely. such different backgrounds. Um, we all have ties to Utah, obviously. But like myself, originally, I'm Sarah and I'm from D.C. So, you know, and you've lived all over. Yes, you know, we've Utah's been stuck with me for quite some time now. <laughs> Born and raised here. But, but like you said, we've got so many different hosts and everybody's got a different story to tell. And the bad news is for the rest of the hosts, uh, we're the only ones here today. And we've got their bios. <laughs> so we're going to tell their story for them. Yes. So maybe a little later they can they can tweak it. But this is what we have, and they're all amazing. Uh, you guys are going to love every single person. I can't wait for everyone to okay. be introduced. But yeah, let's talk about everyone. So who Should are we, we do start this? With? Start, you mean victim number one? Victim number one. Let's go. David Osmond, who just <laughs> recently joined the show just a few months back. And yes, he is that Osmond. When you heard that, David Osmond, he is, he's from those Osmonds. Both. You might have. Might you have may have heard of him, heard of him yeah. maybe, right? You know, yeah. <laughs> Donnie and Marie are actually his, that's his aunt and uncle. So, yes. and he was just on tour with Marie. Incredible. He's such a gem of a guy. He's just awesome. Such an amazing performer and host. And he's and, a single guy. So we, I mean, he's brave to be with all of yes, us. Yes, <laughs> he is. I'd, I'd say safe to say best singer on Fresh Living. Can we, can we oh, say that? Oh, yes. Far and away. <laughs> you know, I'm terrible. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear me sing. Trust me. Oh, uh, it's so funny. So but, yeah, he's, he's great. So tell me a little bit about him because we still don't, yeah, like I haven't known him that long. So I feel like I'm going to learn a lot. Yes, here we go. <laughs> this is the fun part about these is we're getting to know people with you right now. Yes. All right. So <laughs> David Osmond, obviously from the Osmonds and he had music and performing in his blood from the very get go. He's been on tour with Marie and here's a little fun fact about him. So, you know, Joseph in the Technicolor Dreamcoat. I think yes. we've all seen that Broadway play, right? Incredible. So Absolutely. Donnie famously was Joseph for years and years. He was. When you think of Joseph, that's who you think that's of. That's exactly Donnie who originally. I think. Yes, absolutely. Well, not anymore. I now think of our very own David Osmond. I did not know this. He did Broadway for Joseph the Technicolor Dreamcoat. He took over after that. Donnie. Oh my gosh. So, that's so cool. Star. Oh, we're going to have to really have him do some some uh, routines here when he's but in I, I'm glad your mind is where I am right now. I think we now need to go. I probably got a sweater that has colors that should never be put together. Let's give it to him. And I think we need to get our own performance here on Fresh Living. A reenacting, yes. Why absolutely. not? I am on board, 100%. We got to get him to do that. But so. he's just an incredible guy and he, he does so much and he's just so incredibly talented. Uh, but one thing you may not know about him is that he actually, he and his father, he was diagnosed with MS. So he's later become a huge advocate for that yes. and just such a huge example to so many people Absolutely. of how just nothing is going to get you down. I can't even imagine the, having a diagnosis like that. The resiliency, you know, that he's exhibited. And I know he does a lot in the community and a lot of speaking engagements. He's raised money, you know, um, he's a perfect example of someone that had, you know, this adverse thing in their life and they've completely become such a beacon of hope and really just uh, a voice for those affected. So very cool. Absolutely. We are lucky to have him on the show. Okay. I think it's time for the next victim. 
victim. Yes, next victim. So um, Alora Murray, she is originally from Utah. She is one of the newer hosts. Her and I actually started, I think, within like two weeks of each other. So we're both the newest addition. Fresh blood. Uh, fresh blood, yes. Um, but Alora, so she went to BYU. She worked on the East Coast in broadcast journalism for a while. Um, she's now been back in Utah for a while, and she does a lot of content creation in addition to She understands the TikTok. Oh, That's she does. I'll, I'll break it down for you. She, she gets is it. definitely far and away our TikTok guru, like I feel like amongst the hosts. She, she had to show me how to sign in. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Girl, I'm with you. I feel like I'm, yeah, there's a learning I'm curve. Doing. We're getting there, but no, she's I'm amazing at the it. TikTok. And um, yeah, she's produced for the beauty lifestyle industry, and she's a huge... Harry Potter Disney fan. If yes. you've been around her for five minutes, you'll probably hear about Disney. She's so cute. I mean, I love Joyous it. Joyous yes. is the word that comes with her. You can't help but be around her, but not just smile because she just has this infectious personality. She does. Like, I'm pretty sure there are woodland creatures that help her get ready every <laughs> single morning. She does. Very bubbly, very incredibly upbeat. Um, very positive. So it's fun. Who doesn't want to work around someone Absolutely. Like that? So great. I'm excited to get her to know her more and more and all of our hosts because it's so fun. And Carrie, of course, is our queen bee, right? Carrie yes, Hawker Diaz. Carrie. She started it all. I, I've been lucky enough to work with Carrie for four years now, and I've known her for almost six. And I, to be frank, the reason that I was able to work here and have this job is because of Carrie. Really? So I didn't I'll, realize that. I'll tell that story a little yeah, bit, but yeah. Carrie is the, the whole reason why I'm here. She's the one that gave me my shot and recommended me to come be on the show. So, so I cool. honestly I that. owe that woman so much. And she oh, is just great. an incredible person, born and raised here in Salt Lake City. I'm sure you have recognized her from her work on the Hallmark Channel, our very own movie star, Carrie. She was in Christmas Angel that is always on around this time of year, right, you know, right around is. the holidays. She's a movie star. Yes, she has a lot of acting under her belt. But yeah, that's like the... That's an incredible movie that, yeah, I actually, I still need to see it. You need, I, you oh, need to just get out, the see it. get out the tissues, girlfriend. Yes. <laughs> it's one of those. But <laughs> Carrie has been in so many other things. She is such an accomplished actress. She lived in Los Angeles for uh, many years while getting her start. She's been in national commercials. She's been in, I'm going to do the list. I'm going to yeah, go for yeah, it. Yeah, do it. Schwinn it Bikes, quite a list. Subway, Ford, Cafe Rio, Verizon, Mile IQ, and Del Taco. Those are just a few of the commercials that she's been in. You've, you've seen her before. And if you haven't seen her on Fresh Living, yes. you've seen her elsewhere. You know, she's everywhere. So, And not to mention, she has, I'm going to say, starred in a movie alongside of Brad Pitt and George Clooney. You're welcome, Ooh. Carrie, for that. But she was in Oceans. Ooh. She was in Oceans 13. And if you have not looked for Carrie in it, it's a very fun Where's Waldo because you can totally see her. She is a high roller uh -huh. in one of the scenes of the casino. Looking fabulous, oh, might I, I add. It. Always. But she's just <laughs> been a part of so many different things. Yellowstone as well, uh, recently. show, yes. So cool. But I mean, she has such a wide array of talent and depth. And, and to Fresh Living, she really brings so much. I mean, like you said, she's the queen bee. She's been here the longest. And oh, yeah. And she brings something every day. It's so much fun. We are so lucky to have her. And it's she's well, lucky to have her come, I'm going to say slumming, right? Right, slumming <laughs> with the rest of us. No, we love Carrie so much. And she's recently just started doing something. I actually didn't know this until I was reading her bio, which this is so fun that I'm learning things alongside everybody else. Yeah, but we she's all are. the vice president of an organization called The Kind Hers. She loves to give back to her community. Her career has taken her all around the world, but her favorite place to be is right here in Salt Lake Sp City, spending time with her husband and her beautiful daughter. Oh, got to love it. And her daughter is adorable. We so cute. We're, we're all girl moms, or us, yeah. you, me, and Carrie, which I love. We bonded about that before. So um, um, it's so time for yeah. you to get in and the hot seat. It's time for me. I know. Hot seat, sister. Why is it always hardest talking about yourself? Like I've never found. On that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. It's always been easy. No. Um, gosh. So I, like I said, I joined Fresh Living in October of 2021. So I've been on board for a couple months now. Um, and I'm originally from the DC area, went to school in Arizona. Uh, my background was kind of a mixture of news and lifestyle. So I used to anchor and produce a show in Nebraska. Uh, it was an NBC affiliate, and before that, I was in Laughlin, Nevada, which have you ever been? No, I've never been in Laughlin. A beautiful it's, this time of year. Yeah, it's um, it's a casino town, and it's in Nevada. Like people think Nevada think just Vegas, but it's about an hour and a half away, and it, it's a lot of fun. It was a great place to really kind of get my feet wet, and that's where yeah. I started working. What in, was like, Nebraska like? Nebraska. Well, is there news in Nebraska? You know, <laughs> I'm not going to offend everybody in Nebraska right now. Send your letters to me. It's fine. There was, there was, uh, you know, we were in like uh, Tornado Valley. Okay, so yeah, that that's news. Was, like, all right, I take biggest. it all. I take it all back. <laughs> Nebraska, you guys have harder news than me. But but I had never, I hadn't really spent a lot of time in the Midwest. I've been to Chicago, but other than that, so it was kind of fun. I was there for a couple years, and um, yeah, my journey 
with news, like think about, like a lot of people, your trajectory it takes you all over the place. You and never know. So, yeah, and I, I moved a lot of different places. But my husband is from Utah, so we had already wanted to come back here. This opportunity presented itself, and um, we're really happy to be in Utah. Uh, most recently, I was in Nevada right before here, and I started a brand called Blonde About Town, mm-hmm. which was basically kind of a lifestyle entertainment show. Mm-hmm. It was my own channel, and I showcased like a lot of um, entertainers and restaurants and really cool this things. This is brilliant. This is a great way to have turn like your fun into your work. Oh, absolutely. This is a good <laughs> idea. I like where your head's at, Sarah. <laughs> oh, it was never, kind of like here, never a dull day, and, um, and it was Vegas, which was fun, but we're just, we were really excited to move up to Utah. Um, I had twin girls earlier last year. I'm bowing right now, bowing (laughs) down. (laughs) Um, They are so much fun, but yeah, they keep me busy. And so, yeah, it just kind of all came together. Have you always wanted to be in in news and things like that? I always find that it's either one or the other. It's either something that you've wanted to do ever since you were a a little person or it's something you were kind of like were thrust into. I actually, I was... My dad is a news producer, so I was around it in D.C., and I went to journalism school. So, yes, I always wanted to do it, but then, like, for a minute in my 20s, I stepped away completely, mm. and I did medical equipment sales. So it's about departure. as different as that you is can a departure. get. Yeah. And so um, I was really excited to get back into it, and I love telling people stories. And, yeah, it's just – it's been a it's been a journey. It's been a lot of fun. So – but tell me about you okay. now. Lastly. Lastly, me. Save all right. Best for last. You're all not <laughs> hardly. You're all stuck with me. This is it. So I was born and raised here in Salt Lake City. So homegrown here. I went to the University of Utah and I got my degree in mass communications and journalism. So like you, I always kind of wanted to tell people stories. That's always what fascinated me was that connection mm-hmm. that you get to have with people. And I first had lofty goals of wanting to be on doing like some kind of like e-news or something like yeah. that. When e-news was a thing, that's me not too. even there anymore, me too. right? Back in the day, that was like what you thought, like that was the goal, right? But life threw me a, cl- a curveball when I graduated from college. Really, like there weren't a lot of offers for me to do. My main offer that came was to be on a reality television show for the USA Network, oh, and uh, I just I jumped and did it. Uh, I just went ahead and went for it, and it, it was called Summer Camp. It was a horrible show. I can say that. I think <laughs> I don't even know if my mom finished watching it. It was, but it was one of the best experiences of my life because it was so unexpected. I was completely taken out of my element. As you know, like I said, a girl from here in Utah. I was one of the first times I was really on my own and having to rely on myself. And being in such a crazy situation where they uh, sent adults back to summer camp and then made us do ridiculous things like turning into human s'mores and things like that. But wait, we need footage from the oh, show. Oh yeah, it's Is there. It out there? Oh, it's out there. It. I'm oh. sure it's buried deep, <laughs> maybe on the dark web at this point if I'm lucky. But <laughs> I love the concept though. But like, it was really fun. It was really fun, and for me, it was uh, a great launching point. And I guess you know maybe the departure from the bio here, if I could give not I wouldn't say advice, but. But if you are given an opportunity to do something that scares you, or if there's two paths and there's one that's the safe way and there's the other that you have no idea what's going to happen and and it makes you a little bit nervous, I I urge you to choose the path that scares you because you never know what's going to happen. And for me, from that silly little reality TV show, I ended up being able to go. I was on the Today Show as a guest and was interviewed. I was on Extra, and then I was did a w, a WWE ringside interview. But Stop. what? How but cool. I know, right? But what, what re- really came from it was I had a local radio station here, a rock station in Salt Lake City. They wanted to do an interview just to promote the show, and it was just kind of one of those silly things where I thought, yeah, yeah, sure, I'll come in and talk about the show, whatever. Yeah, why not? I was saying yes to everything at that point, just right. to try and you know keep my keep my foot in the door and I walked into that rock station and I met the host of the morning show and I didn't leave for six years I love it that was where I met yeah that's where I met my co-host and it ended up being a beautiful radio career and he took me under his wing and just was like you know what you need to do this this is something for you and I told him about my broadcasting background yeah and it was so fun and we ended up being on that that rock morning show and it, it grew from being just this local show to being in Oklahoma City, it was in Memphis, it was in Nashville. Brooke, that's incredible. Which was just, you know, just, but it never would have happened unless I would have taken that crazy jump. And being on that rock morning show, that's how I met Carrie. We were doing a commercial oh, here at KUTV for the radio station. Okay. And Carrie was the host that came. Now I know that she was doing an on location shoot <laughs> with Rock 106. We know all the terminology, like on the other side of it, right? Yeah. It's funny to see that. And that's how I met Carrie. And that's then, incredible. you know, that. years later, we kind of just stayed in touch and she told me that there was an opening on Fresh Living that they were starting to audition people and you'd be perfect for and it. She and she was like, you, you should that. come and try. And that was where I, I came and tried. And 
that was it, how it kind of all wound up on it. But it was just kind of one of those funny situations. Like up with the rock station, I worked for free for that rock station for like eight months just to get get my foot in the door. I would show up at 4.30 in the morning, work for free. And then they eventually, you know, I've just, I've also discovered this. Eventually they have to pay you. If you just keep on showing up in the morning, (laughs) you got to, because the same thing happened here when I was auditioning, I just kept on showing up. Yeah. and doing the show for free. And eventually they have to They'll hire yes. you. They so have to. They're like, okay, she's one of us. Apparently <laughs> it's a pattern. That's what I'm telling you guys. I if you want it. something in life, just show up. You never know what's going to happen. And I love wise words of wisdom. Absolutely. Right? I totally agree with you. I think you just have to say yes to those opportunities and you never know what door will then open or what succession of doors will open. And right. it's amazing. So, well, and now I've been here for four years. Four years. I, I'm Four shocking. Years. I, I feel like every time they're going to make my badge no longer work <laughs> when I come in. But so far four years and I've met some of my best friends in the world and now I get to meet and you know meet you and get to work with so many incredible people and that's what Fresh Living's all about I know this is a really long-winded way of saying that this is a family and that's why we we love our guests that come on the show we love we we actually we all enjoy working together and there's so many different diverse personalities that we get to I'm honored to get to to work with every single day absolutely good vibes all around though everybody's everybody is like you said so different but yeah I feel like we all mesh well and it's so interesting like you said like no day is ever the same so fun and the guests yes you never know what's going to (laughs) happen much like this podcast and the show you never know what's going to happen so I feel like we have talked far too long but we are so excited to have you guys join us on this journey uh on on set and now offset as well with fresh off the set I, I think we can uh